My name is William Habraken and we are here at the Shoes or No Shoes Museum in Kruishoutum in Belgium. The museum started out as a, a building where we could house the collection I collected since 1968 uh, and it contains shoes from all around the world uh, about 155 countries uh, and the collection totals about 3,000 pairs. Uh, it started out um, one day in 1968 that I got one pair of shoes from a, a French uh, supplier uh, and this pair, you know, you put it in your house and uh, in a box. And then I started traveling around the world and the second pair I found in Singapore and it came into the same box and gradually more pairs came into this box. Then this box moved to the attic of my house and one day I came to the attic and I saw the box again. I said, well, it's a pity that these are in the box so I should put them in a, in a case so everybody can see, can see them. After a while, if you travel, you start collecting more shoes and the collections start growing. And uh, finally, it resulted in the largest collection of the world. Uh, it totals now 3,000 pairs and uh, Guinness Book of World Records has uh, said that it is the largest ethnographic collection in the world. Next to the uh, ethnographic collection, I started also collecting shoes from uh, the most, the, the, the world's famous designers, shoe designers. So that is to say there are a lot of designers who uh, design clothes and also shoes, but I'm mostly interested in designers who design shoes and possibly also clothes. That's a, a different point of view. And in that respect, we have here uh, practically from day one, from the first designer, uh, shoes in the collection downstairs. Uh, in the beginning shoes were made to order uh, to the dresses that designers made for uh, wealthy women. Uh, however, later there was uh, one designer who started to make shoes where the ladies could pick them out for their dresses. And then the first designer uh, started out Jan Torni to have his own shop you know, and sell shoes from there. The third collection we have in this building is, uh, contains shoes from famous artists from all around the world um, who donated their shoes which they used while they were working. And I will tell you a little bit more about it later on when we go to this collection. These are the three, the three main collections in this building. Here we have all the books. These are the books about the artists, which are represented in the, uh, in the, the artist department. And these are all the books about shoes, ethnographic shoes, and some designer shoes. Anything you see on the wall is written by famous artists, like writers, uh, but also painters uh, or uh, poets, who then uh, put their words about shoes on a paper and send it to us. They're also from all around the world. Some of the books are uh, very old uh, and many students like to read them also and they can study here if they want and uh, make descriptions. We even have a, a book in Russian language, you know, about Wait, uh, I'm not familiar with the Russian language, but 
Russian folk clothing. And of course, I use this kind of books to determine what kind of shoes I have in the collection. It's very helpful. Eh? But it's not easy to get these, uh, these books at all. But I like them. And, uh, I want to describe them accurately. And if you have uh, costumes with shoes, then you know the, the area where they come from, uh, the time that the, they were made in and so on. And yeah, it's very helpful. Very helpful. And I regularly sit down myself here to study books again. <laughs>